Well, thanks for the ride, Olaf. Good luck. May all your troubles be little ones. <laughs> oh, please stop it. <laughs> Well, here we are, Mrs. Thompson. Who? Oh! <laughs> Here's our farm. Where's the house? Oh, it's not built yet. Got to clear the land, chop down the trees. Oh, that reminds me, I've got a wedding present for you. This is my wedding present? Uh-huh. Diamond Jim, nothing. Well, it's not easy to be a farmer's wife. We're gonna have to clear this land together. Here, now, you start chopping down at that end, and I'll start chopping up at this end. Uh, uh, this is our honeymoon. Couldn't we chop a little closer together? Oh. I am glad Gladys Schwabacher didn't show up. Are you? Yes, we're gonna do all right together. We're gonna clear the land, build a house, plant the crops, raise a family. Family of what? Children. Fifteen of them. Twenty of them. Uh, you chop there and I chop there. Gus and Etta chopped down the trees and built themselves a small farmhouse. And they cleared the land and Gus started his plowing. Get up. Go on. Get up. Well, I'm doing the best I can. Why don't you get a horse? I'm saving up for one. I've already got eight dollars. What's that? Sounds like a peddler. I got buckets and pails and hammers and nails. What do you have? Howdy. I'm a Prentice, the peddler. How do you do? Mind if I give your daughter a lollipop? She's not my daughter. She's my wife. May I congratulate you on having one of the most beautiful child brides in the county. Guys, buy lots of stuff from him. We don't I've need... got merchandise from all over the world. Now, this here is from India, an elephant tusk polisher used daily in the elephant stables of His Highness the Maja Roger. We don't have an elephant. We're just simple country folk. Don't apologize. Now, here's something from England. It's a King George cricket bat. No, thanks. How about this? Here's something that no self-respecting German housefrau should be without. It's a genuine pig's knuckle scraper. Uh, do you have any work shoes that won't wear out? What size? Uh, Eleven and a half. How are these? How much are they? Dollar and a half. Try them on. I don't want them. Well, you can't go on working in the fields in your bare feet. Instead of this, could I have that? Well. I'll say the little lady sure has good taste. That there's the latest model from Paris, France. Only $12. $12? Now stop yowling. Well, it seems like the little lady has her heart set on it. Shall we say uh, $10? No. $8, and that's my bottom yell. Don't you want me to look pretty? Oh, I... Of course he does. That'll be $8, and I'll throw in the shoes. That's my horse money. Oh, you play the horses? No wonder you only got $8 left. My plow horse. Oh, I don't mind pulling the plow. No, I don't But want... you didn't have to fix my teeth. Will you stop throwing that up to me? Now you got the dress. Thank you, Gus. You're a good man. You made me very happy. See you next spring, folks. <laughs>